I'm your music entertainment for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this stream. We are here today to discuss memes. Oh shit, yep. that's probably where it is. Just as I suspected, we need to get the power on. Just as he suspected, we need to get the power on. So, I'm just setting, setting it up here, boys. We're gonna get this shit rolling. You got a motherfucking boy up in this bitch. Yo, my boy Double H up in here, what's up? My guy, welcome. Welcome on into the stream. I just need to share my link in the Discord quickly. Da 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 da. Alright, da da da. Extreme hype. Oh yeah, and put it right in there. Been waiting for video. Yeah, boy, I posted today. I posted. Uh, did I post yesterday? I don't even know. Yeah, I posted yesterday. I posted today. I posted yesterday. I have a post for tomorrow. Like I'm streaming to today. In I might have a second post Ugh. today. Who knows? I mean, this is. We got, the, we got the stream up in this. Rejuice. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. How long is it gonna be, dude? We're gonna be here for like at least like two hours, probably. So, and if you see in the top left, that's the countdown until the Treyarch stream. Lonesome bro, what's up? We got Treyarch stream coming up. We're gonna watch bits of that. We're gonna watch the whole fucking thing, especially because it's zombies, boys. And then we're gonna be playing after. We're gonna have some shit going on. We gotta get more fucking gobble gum. I don't, why do I have my co-op pack on? Oh wait, it's because I was gonna play with Jack, but his Xbox broke. He's game broke or something. Me, yeah, bitch. Hopefully we get that M14. I don't know if it's any good. Is the M14 any good? For those coming into the stream now, welcome. Come on in. Fucking. We got 34 minutes until these dudes is fucking losing. So we're just gonna be playing Kino and talking. And then we're gonna sit here. We're gonna watch the whole fucking thing start to finish. Sweepy, my guy. Welcome on into the stream. How are you doing today? I like the comment that you left on the video, man. Fucking, this man understands. Care, my boy, welcome. Welcome on into the stream, everybody. Ooh. Nah, boy, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that right now. Don't you fucking dare say that. Dab, dab, dab. I have to agree. Always dabbing. Always dabbing. If you dab, if you don't dab once a day, you're probably gay. Quote from Jesus or something. Fuck, I forgot to get a gobble gun again. You're all right. Fucking awesome, dude. Fucking ah oh, man. How about you? I am fantastic today. Um, I'm a bit tired. I went to a concert the other night, and it's fucking crazy stuff. If you guys like Def Leppard or Journey, dude, that's where I was at. Over in Pennsylvania. And we were doing that, and then I had work, and, you know, I'm tired, but we're here. We're living. We're out here streaming. We're going to be watching some great stuff. I real I'm hoping for a full Blood of the Dead trailer. Or at least a picture of what this 5 remaster is going to look like. That's what I'm really looking forward to. 
Did I go down on this? Yeah, I did. I'm thinking it's going to be a really good stream, though. And I'm already feeling it. If you guys have that BO4 hype, other than the fucking stupid shit Activision is pulling, let me know. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Woo. Death Leopard and Journey are awesome. Fuck it. Yeah. Starts in 32 minutes. Yeah, boy. Yeah, dude. Death Leopard and Journey are awesome. I mean, Death Leopard, I feel like, definitely outperformed Journey. Just because, I mean, Journey opened for them. I think they go back and forth, but Death Leopard was just so fucking good. That's who I was mainly there to see. I'm like, I like Journey and all, but it's, it's all about the Death Leopard. So in 32 minutes, we're going to be switching off of my, uh, me playing, because this is me playing right now, just on Xbox and Kino. And I have a browser ready to be pulled up, and we're going to go onto their stream, we're going to sit here, we're going to watch it all. And then afterwards, we're still going to keep streaming, and we're going to be talking about it. We're going to be talking about everything that happens, all the good, the bad, and then we're going to make a, we're going to make that a stream highlight, oh, yeah, which will man. be a video of us just doing all that shit. Go for a quick bike ride, bro. That's right. Go be healthy. Go be healthy. We'll be here waiting for you. We'll be here waiting for you, my guy. Get fucking hyped, boys. This shit's gonna be hey, real good. I need more ammo or we're going down. Unfortunately, Craig Houston's not gonna be at this one, though. It'll be Jason, so at least we have Jason, but... My boy Craig is going to have to miss out, apparently. Forget why. I think he's gathering assets. They teased this whole, like, London thing. With, like, oh, you're getting assets in London. And everyone's like, oh, it's a London Zombies map. I'm like, D don't. Don't say that. That's not true. I, think that, I don't think that there's going to be a London Zombies map anytime soon. Personally. Personally, I just don't think that there's going to be a London Zombies map within, like... I don't even know if there's going to just be one in Black Ops 4 at all. I, I'd be really cool to see one, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know. Maybe they'll say something about it in the stream, but... We got a big old 30 minutes. We got, like... I'm sitting here. I'm just. I'm. I'm almost like shaking because this is. This is gonna be so fucking good. It has to be. It's gotta be good. There's no way that this stream isn't gonna be fucking fantastic. I'd love to see a full mob of the uh, blood of the dead trailer. I'd love to see a picture, or at least like an in-game picture of the five remastered. I want to see. Um, I want to see more stuff for the new story. I don't know exactly what I want to see because, like, I don't know what there is to entail yet. Gavin, my boy, welcome. You thick bitch. What is bright? God, I love my brother who scratched my BO3 disc like his fucking. <laughs> Jack. Welcome, Jack. But yeah, no, I feel it. You know why? You know why I don't have to deal with that? No. Fucking digital. Digital. Yeah, we got seven people in the stream right now. This is a record high for this month because I only just fucking came back from the dead. So, thank you guys. I appreciate this. If you guys haven't left a like, then leave a like. And if you leave a dislike, yeah, you gotta tell me like why and have like a legitimate reason, and I'll work with you. We'll, we'll work through this together. This is a this is a two-way street. This is how relationships work. You know? And if you got any friends who are interested in zombies, just some just low-key content, bro. Fucking put me out there. Alright, I'm done promoting myself now. We ain't, we ain't like that. We, we don't promote... I, I feel really fucking terrible promoting myself. Being like, yo, go check out my YouTube. Like, I, I never fucking do that. I, I just can't. I just feel kind of bad. Like... People, people will find me. I'm not going to push it down your throat. I ain't like that. PlayStation guys. <laughs> uh, you PlayStation guys are good. You're so fucked, dude. I want that M14, guys. I want to see. I want to see what it like. 
That is definitely not. All right, might have some people interested in zombies, bro. Fucking thank you. That I appreciate that. Stand out. Stand out. Look at that. I believe in you. I believe in you as well. Kevin. I love you. Juicy. I need some. I need some advice, right? Or some some help, right? Just just some just a general question for people who just watch YouTube. I know the way I watch YouTube, like you know, the way that we watch content is different. It's different for everybody. Everybody goes about it in <clears throat> a different way. Some people like to sit down and watch like three hour streams. Some people like to sit down and watch like five minute videos. Lately I've been kind of doing like a bit of both. Like I've been doing like five to ten minute videos and then like some streams. Should I keep it like that? Should I like... I I'm obviously... I'm gonna be trying to do daily uploads or like at least close to daily. As long as there's something to cover. If there's no like news then I'm not gonna sit here and like try to make some shit up. Like I I'll I'm gonna do some like top fives and shit. Some basic stuff but like... Which, are, who's more interested in like, like just straight up like long ass streams or just like some chill videos? Cause I can I can do both. I'm just curious as to what you guys are interested in watching. Cause I sit down like I'll watch like a whole 15 minute video sometimes. Sometimes I just want to sit down and watch something short. And other times I'll watch a full stream from start to finish. It really depends. Both? You like both? That. <clears throat> this is good for I want the M14. Please. Big Al. Ain't gonna be any puppy's chew toy. You keep on laughing, little girl. Shopping free? Why would I? You, I mean, no. We're gonna try to go for a high round as far as we can before and after tracks. Also, I think I need to... Oh, uh, well, I just realized something. Hold on. Don't be that top 5, top 10 stuff person. In my opinion, I can't stand... Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean, but like mine, the way that I want to go about it is different than the normal top five and top ten. Not like the top five things in Fortnite. Like very like in depth, like detailed. <clears throat> like I, I have a, an approach for top five that I'd like to take. <clears throat> kind of different than everything else. Where like maybe I'll do like. Like something very, it's, it's hard to explain. I have to just do it. So maybe I'll try a few of those and I'll see what you guys think. See what kind of feedback it gets. Battle, ro Battle Royale. Fucking BR, bro. The top five things in Fortnite. Battle Royale. <laughs> Fucking Alia intro plan, dude. Sounds fantastic. But like, also, should I do like funny moments? Like the, because I can do funny zombies moments, but like, they'll probably just be like stream highlights. Unless I'm just recording offline. I mean, which I don't do super often. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Do only have one account for now. Uh, the second account is being made shortly. Top five. Top five zombies YouTube. Maybe I'll make that a meme video. <laughs> like some shit or shit. But yeah, I'm making a second channel um, today, actually. Or, like, no more tonight. Sky bone jaws. I'm coming to kick your ass. It's going to be interesting. We're going to see how it goes. Fighting me close up isn't fair, and now I get a sniper. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Oh, hello! Can you do like different games? Yeah, that's the point. The point of the second channel is going to be literally every game that's not the one game that I cover on here. Because the one game set that I'm going to cover on here is Call of Duty Zombies. It'll be on YouTube, it'll be mainly live streams. There'll be some videos. Just kind of like funny moments and shit. Yeah, just chilling. Like Fortnite, you know, like just. Whatever I feel like playing. And it'll all be here on YouTube. And I'll also be doing YouTube and Twitch streams at the same time. Using Restream. Funny moments would be cool. 
or 11 people showed. Yeah, that one's definitely for sure. That's the first video, like, video video I want to on the second channel. That was fun today. I got a lot of, like, I have 50 minutes worth of footage, and I have it all on this flash drive. It's currently plugged into my computer, so tonight I'm going to work on starting to edit that. But how often would you upload them? I'd say, so, first channel comes first. I'd say probably at least two, one or two videos a week on that channel. But streams would be almost every day. That, that's what I'm thinking. I want the M14. I want to know what it's like. Guys, 22 minutes till the track stream. I'm gonna what? open up on him now! Rapid fire Come on, sweetness. Man. I want one thing. Walking We're actually getting a bundle of ass kicking. Streams every day would be Why stressful. So uh, not, mm, I can handle it. I mean, like, it's just gonna be like chill streams, like. On the second channel, there's no real, like, it's not going to be, like, ready to party? super strict on, like, what I do or how I do it. It's more or less, like, a shit place, I guess. Just kind of chilling, doing right. stuff with people. Need help? What's up? Lock em out. How, how might I be able to assist you today? Is everything okay? On the house. If there's one thing I'm good at in life, is helping fucking other people. Dude, I've been saying the F word a lot today. I'm, like, can you tell I'm tired? I'm I'm terrible. Is Jack's game not working? Yeah, no. Uh, his brother scratched his disc. I'm just gonna camp alleyway this whole time. <laughs> just to see how it goes. Flesh Need help with life. Can't wait for your new channel, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna be making the video, introducing it tonight, and then from there, exploring. So, what kind of um, life help do you need? Again? I'm here to give advice, guys. In the chat, make sure to help me out with giving advice here and be serious. Don't be rude. Rudeness, I'm gonna kick you in the butt. Feel like a bit. How my boy at Lonesome out? Lonesome. So, talk to me. Talk to me. I've talked. Wait, this is, this is a real shit serious moment. Let me talk seriously for a sec. I've talked like four, maybe five people out of suicide. I've helped a lot of people with a lot of things. Man, I'm here for life advice whenever. That goes for anybody. Love helping other people. Love it. Helping you is helping me. Uh, this is gonna be double points. Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah, boy. Random question, bro. Hit me, hit me with all your questions. You got any questions for me, whether they be like personal or just like about zombies or about anything, bro? Just feel free to hit me up, even if it's just trivia about random shit. Interactive streamer. Put that in my thumbnail. Oh, my title. Interactive streamer. What do you use to record your gameplay? Elgato HD60. Sometimes I run it through OBS, sometimes when it comes to just recording raw gameplay that I'm going to use for a video. For consoles, it's Elgato HD60, but for PC, I use OBS, and I have two computers. I normally try to play and record PC games on my better one, my tower computer. That's at my mom's. Parents are divorced, you know, so it's a, it's, it's a work. I'm at my dad's right now using my laptop. That's popular. Yeah. So, we... It's OBS. It's fucking fantastic program. And then Elgato oh, HD60, a fantastic product. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it. No, no endorsements, obviously. Can't wait to see what I can do with this. <gasps> oh my god, why do we have such a good setup? I just wanted the M14. Because it's new. I gotta know. Got the, got the alleyway strat getting out of here. Just wearing the, I usually have got the King Cat HD. Oh yeah, I have I have the regular one too. I just don't use it anymore because I got the 60. I'm a sucker for 60 FPS. Whenever it works. Sometimes my fucking when, I, when it comes to streaming, sometimes my internet is just working extra hours to be able to buy better stuff. Guys, 18 minutes.
What's the timer? The timer is for when Treyarch, the guys who make the uh, Call of Duty Treyarch zombies, like the zombies that I'm playing, they're doing an E3 live stream. We're gonna stream it together. We're gonna sit through it. We're gonna uh, watch it and react a bit to whatever they have to show us. And then after, we're gonna pick up on this game. I'm gonna have it paused and we're gonna have it up on stream. Gonna be watching that shit. And then we're gonna keep up the game. We're gonna go for a high round and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about all this. And then we're just gonna be chilling. So it's the countdown until Treyarch's stream for E3. Not what I want. Sure, leave it up to me to kill them all. Oh boy, dude, what is the luck today? This is whack. Oh yeah, that little dude is badass. Fucking hell. Twitch or YouTube. Uh their stream is on YouTube, I believe, and I'll make sure I I'll probably link it in chat. And then when it comes to my second channel, it'll be a lot of streaming on YouTube and Twitch because there's this fucking amazing program called Restream.io that I used to use a bunch when I first started my YouTube days before I had to restart the channel twice. Um, and it's fantastic. I'm able to stream multiple platforms at once. No sponsor, no endorsement. Found it through a friend. And we're going to be doing that. Sometimes we'll do some Twitch exclusive streams just for just for shits. Mainly for now to be YouTube. We're not gonna end this stream to watch the, the uh, Treyarch stream. We're gonna. It's all gonna be the same thing. This is gonna be like two hours maybe. This is gonna be some crazy shit. Dude, what is That's this luck today? It's crazy. I see the potential in like a round 50 run out of this, maybe. If I don't play sloppily. You personally before streaming have been streaming for sure. Dude, streaming is so much easier, honestly, because. I mean, although there's a lot of convenience in just doing a video where I just recorded and I have the time to edit it, and like if I'm recording audio, I can like cut it or I can make the audio mix to sound better. Like there's definitely there's definitely a lot of ups and downs about each. A lot of, a lot of ups mainly about both. I'm just adjusting some audio here. Uh, <clears throat> Gavin's a boy, and yeah, boy, Gavin boy's day. So, like, streaming, it just feels more convenient because, like, it's real time. Like, I'm talking to you guys. Like, I, I get to have a real conversation with you guys. And I, it just feels like it does better, right? like, analytically. Like, when it comes to viewers and likes and people who watch stuff. So, it, it does better. I feel like I'm able to, like, talk to you guys a lot easier. Because I can make a video, and I'll say at the end, comment how you guys feel. And, like, two, three people comment. But, like, this is, like, a live chat. You guys are asking me questions. I love this. I love being interactive. I like talking to you guys. And also, I can just, like, just chill. How you know Tony? I uh, literally just met him yesterday. I, I met him through Nutter Butter. <laughs> and it's, he's already fucking fantastic. I love this man. We were playing Fortnite, and... He had said he had an Xbox friend to join up in our squad. And this kid lives in Florida and he's, he's, he's fantastic. So. Yep, yeah, met my boy Gavin yesterday. I love making my friends. You can all be my friends. And if you guys haven't already, join the Discord in the link in the description. I've never really streamed before. I've always done videos and I was just wondering. I would suggest it. I mean, videos, for some people, it's just easier because you have, like, a, a lot more time to do things. But, like, I just like being in the moment, you know? Message retracted. Brother. You corner a Dempsey, you'll get dead real quick. Oh. 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 Oh, that. We're soaring through rounds and kills right now, and just everything. 
We have 12 minutes until the Treyarch stream. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be very nice. Probably back points at some point soon, but who knows? Get out my face, boys! But yeah, we have a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel. Got videos, streams, second channel. How long are you surviving the map for the longest for zombies? 117 rounds? We are keeping score. It was on Revelations the first time I tried it. First time I played Revelations and fucking... That's the map's ticket. so fucking easy. Took you two hours and 45 minutes to upload a 9 minute video. Oof. Jeez. Yeah, that's it's definitely not good. Up time. Sweet. The question is how large was the video file? Little gun, lots of holes. Cause that can really determine a lot. My boy, where is it's the M14? Get a monkey bones. Get back. What a blast! Thank you. Wow, you're really good. Uh, thank you. I mean, this is definitely not a good demonstration of my skill, because I'm just kind of, like, nonchalantly getting the shit kicked out of me as I run into crowds and just use the thunder gun accordingly. But thank you. You definitely would be out here trying. I also haven't done the Kino alleyway strat in a long time. We're going to try for 50 in this after Treyarch's game. To play as Matt and Beale, the one I always train them in the theater. That's where I normally train too. But if you want like a fast, high round, like fast, intense games, you you play out here in the alley. This was the way that we used to do it. Bring on the dogs. Guys, ten minutes until the Treyarch stream. Who's ready? Point. Oh, yeah. Eh. I mean, I've definitely seen worse, but there's like an adapter you can buy that pulls the internet towards your device. I use that for my PC at my mom's house, my big PC. It's where I normally do a lot of my uploads. I'll put my gameplay volume lower. Yeah. Thank, thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate that. I'll put it. Yeah. So. I, I use that to upload my videos because it boosts my upload speed by like a kajillion. Ammunition on the house. It's fucking fantastic, guys. Nine minutes. Yo, Dark Lord Peppy is now following. Thank you, my man. What a man. I like the name. It's a very sick name. It just, it just flew all over the place. Oh jeez, that's... Wow. Now nah, I can hear clearly perfect. It's probably because I... Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. We, we adjust. We, we work with it. We work with it. Hunt the M14 now. Thank you. What's that called? Uh, what's that called? The the thing that it pops up saying who followed or like who subscribed. That's Streamlabs, a beautiful service created for streamers. I just got a Discord notification. I think. Maybe. All right. Who hit me with that Discord notif? 
Oh, just one of my friends' servers. All right, dope. <clears throat> All right, so box is now in the theater, I think. Just wow. Oh, that's good. Dope. This will probably be like the last full round that we play. We're gonna keep it in the box. I want the M14. I haven't gotten to use it yet. Bro. I got a title. Yo, fucking hit me. Wait, is it not? Oh, it's in the starting room. Shit, never mind. No, no, the upload booster? Oh, it's Netgear. Dude, fucking hit me with it. It's like a Netgear. It's like. I forget the. A7000. Someone's ringing the doorbell. Here, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Let me see what that is. What's that? Okay, hold on, I'm back. Alright, alright. What's up? What's up, boys? Sorry, um, people showed up at my door. What'd you say once more? I guess I'll just let them be, I'm, but I'm sorry if I didn't want them. What are you talking about? I'm confused, Lonson. But uh, guys, I'm back. Hello. And Gavin, what's your title? I did. I gotta know. We gotta check, see if Treyarch's on that grind right right now. If, if they're on it. Because if they are, you know what time. You know how it is. PlayStation Live Rooster Teeth. Uh, they're taking control for themselves. It's pure definition of tyranny. And that doesn't... I feel like it's going to be PlayStation, right? Creating a balanced and competitive roster. So, okay. We're going to keep the game paused now. Guys, it's, it's just about time. Where we're going to do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, that formatting, huh? So, we got this open. We're going to hop on this. So, I see a few people. So, hey, look, it's Sweepy and Modern Dizzy. So, let's think it's 445 PlayStation Access E3 reactions. Uh, it's 4 p.m. But the but the but the but the to appeal to the casual gamers as well to the casual gamers as well.
Hey, look, you guys can see you. I forgot when you left, but I'll remember. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we tried. Okay, so they're streaming something somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Maybe we can totally just do... Watch this. I bet you it's here. I bet you this man's got it. Oh, yeah. Nope. Here it is. Yep. Okay. <laughs> We're using another person's stream. How's that working with my audio? Is it like moderate to severely terrible? I don't know where these guys are getting it from. So Treyarch E3. Let's do this. What? What sheep? What sheep? It's okay. <laughs> Never come here for quality. Just kidding. Copyright, I'm telling big, big trouble. Ooh. Yeah, I want a picture of this actually. I'm gonna control the front screen. It's a dope background. Like, are you guys ready for this shit? This is gonna be nasty. This is gonna be stupid thick. Guys, it's like a one minute. One fucking minute. This music? What's the this? I'm getting when it comes out. Do I hear a game day stream? Absolutely, dude. Oh. Oh. Ah, let's start me again. I'm getting on Xbox. Yeah, I'm getting on Xbox too. LOL. Sweepy with the LOL. What's that? Oh, that's oh, that's literally the. It's the timer. It's the timer. I'm sorry. YouTube Live 83. Is there an easier way we can watch this without using Daleks to stream? Hive, the hive sets loose. Nope. We're just gonna. We're just gonna use this. Thanks, Dalek. <laughs> we're terrible. Copyright strike now, but fucking but it's four forty five. Where you at, Treyarch? We got an awesome afternoon for you guys. Uh, you know, amazing games coming on stage to share some stuff with you. Uh, we've got uh, Call of Duty right now. We've got, uh, yeah, we've got Spider-Man coming up a little bit later. Tonight, we've got uh, the dir director of Avengers, uh, Joe Russo, here with Donald Mustard. Um, really? Tonight, and then this evening, we've got an awesome performance of some of the score of uh, God of War. So lots of great stuff. Thanks for coming to the Coliseum. Right now, we are going to move on to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Yeah, baby! Yes, I see uh, many people with their... It's mad hats, laggy. So, uh, Are you serious? Clearly, you guys have already okay. been to the booth, played it. Um, we're going to talk about something that's not at the booth. We're going to talk about zombies. Thank God. I uh, hope that's okay with you guys. Um, so let's bring out the guys from uh, Treyarch to talk about all things zombies. Come on out. It should, in theory, be okay. Hey, guys. Jason! Jason! Drilla! Brian! 
<laughs> oh, his words don't. Oh, I know why. Here, hold on. I know why. With us here now, zombies. It's because I had to. I have to change it so that the audio is different. It was ten years ago on my old Spike show that we revealed that uh, there's this crazy idea of zombies in Call of Duty and World at War. Yeah. Um, and it was, you know, it was right at launch. You guys had sort of not really shared anything about it. I don't think anyone knew kind of quite what to make of it. And here we are a decade later. Yep. And uh, people don't just appreciate it. They absolutely love what you guys <laughs> do with, uh, with zombies. Um, you know, it started as this Easter egg in World at War. Um, I'd be curious to hear the history, and I know a lot of you guys have been, you know, involved in it since the beginning. Where did this come from? Because you know, at, a to at the time, Call of Duty was very much, you know, no worries, my guy. Reality, and you know, the, you know, following the franchise from when it started, it was you know very real, um, and it was cinematic at times, but sure. you know, super real. So, this concept of kind of just twisting things a little bit and introducing zombies, like, what was the genesis of that inside the studio? Well, I mean. One thing that you kind of can't take away from the creation of it is that the time in the project when it was when it was created. Clang, yeah, clang, was bang. Nice right shirt, Jason. Right at the point when teams are the are the most stressed, you know, everything's kind of being packed in, you're trying to lock a game down. Uh, and so subsequently, there's so many different stories about where it kind of came from because all yeah. the different voices. Everyone's the taking credit, in other words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what I can say, and again, you know, holding the, the, the torch for it at the moment, yeah. Part of my job was to go back and kind of talk to people and look at stuff and find out yeah. uh, different opinions on it. Um, it came from the design department. Okay. Um, and that idea was floated, and then different groups in the studio kind of came together and started adding stuff. You know, was it sound. like, let's, let, let's put zombies in the game, or let's come up with a different game mode? Or to, to my understanding, it was, you know, looking at the assets they had, they had, yeah. um, I think it was Pelilu, I think it was a, an explosion with these kind of soldiers stumbling around the place. And the comment was, they, they look like zombies. Yeah, yeah. Like I know exactly what scene from World of War they're talking about. Kind of different groups, different areas, you know, be it sound yeah, or I'll animation. never forget. Where they're all on fire. The morning when I got a request for zombie sounds. I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? We're, we're making Call of Duty, but, wow. you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's just grown and turned into something so special for us, especially for us. Yeah. And that's, that's why it was, you know, and, and hey, that, you know. that way that it was created, um, that's why it's something that we're very proud of, which was right. different people just coming together and making something, you know, just adding the different yeah. kind of talents, the different kind of groups. Um, it was something that, at the time, lots of people said we shouldn't do. Right. Um, and I wasn't actually at the, on the project at that point in time, but I would have said that as well. Well, because no, it's, it's <laughs> that's so crazy. It's just so different, and you know, he said it's one thing to have, you know, an Easter egg, right, or a zombie that shows up in a level or something. But this was, you know, like a new game of the idea of waves of sort of, you know, that that whole. Yeah, I mean, Adam, you were obviously involved in you know animation and thinking about you know yeah. what this was going to be but the the game mode and that concept of these waves like where did where did that come from it was so as it's, as it's been told to me it was that idea of kind of tower defense yeah the idea of tower right. defense games that were very That's popular true. I think on, you're right. I do remember that, on, yeah. on flash games at the yep, time exactly um and, tower and that makes sense. you know being able to kind of jump in there and then use 3d assets in a first person experience for tower defense was very yeah. novel yeah. and you know, the big kind of love of zombies hadn't really caught steam, so we were one of the first to be there, yeah. you know, doing doing the kind of zombie material. Um, but it was it was so out of left field that yeah. the part of the conversation with Activision was, okay, you can put it in, but we're not going to promote this, we're not going to talk about this with anyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. And I think, to be honest, Activision. part of its success was due to that, yep. because then it became mm. the kind of people's game, it was the people's mode. No, rather than I if we'd promoted it and marketed it. I remember it because we were, we were doing an episode of TV show and it was, I think it was like the week before launch or something and then we just sort of hinted at this other thing and I think everyone online was like, what are they talking about? Because you're right, it was, it was pretty hidden. Like how, was it close to not happening? Uh, absolutely. I mean, there yeah. was, um, yeah. we had to put it in front of certain Activision executives. And it was Unnamed done in, Activision It was done in a kind of closed <laughs> room. I mean, this, I've told this story before, but it's yeah. this kind of closed room where, um, we bring an executive in and right. say, okay, play this, and then, you know, we don't need to do this, you can walk away. Right. Um, and then we s we'd get emails back that would say, I got to round 20. Right. You know, yeah. I got to round 25. <laughs> so these executives were like getting so competitive about it. Yeah. Um, Jeez, that's, that's cool. We, we had to kind of put it in. But um, it was, again, just to kind of go back, it yeah. was the fact that everyone in the studio started giving more and more time yeah. on top of the, the job they were already doing, adding things in from the different no, disciplines I, to, ma to make this thing I remember. Tonight. 
being around the studio, and they said it was there was this energy. I think that everyone's playing. I mean, yeah. Adam, you've been on this project for a long time over the years. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was there? I mean, I, I assume it created an energy that was just was so different. Right. And, you know, and again, this was Call of Duty. You know, after many years of making, you know, amazing games, but yeah. you know, it's like which war do you depict next? How do you sort of, you know, and it was. It, it was refreshing, I guess, right? Absolutely. Even now, we have a lot of fun telling these new kinds of stories, new yeah. approach on telling stories. You know, uh, it's not your typical linear, here's a story, now go play. You know, we like to set and it I up. And I love that. Show some things and not yeah. show other things. But it's it's how you experience the game, and you go in there and listen to the players yeah. talking, and the story unfolds that way. So it allowed us to kind of explore different ways of telling stories and developing characters and building worlds. And from, from an audio perspective, um, I imagine, Brian, you know, you've been such a key part of the franchise over all these years. But for you and your guys, I imagine a lot of It was unbelievable. Different, like, different muscle. <laughs> we started, you know, Call of Duty is all about being as real as possible. So yeah. everything needs to be realistic and grounded. And Every and gun requ sound, it records every, the sound. Everything, from, yeah. right? And then when the zombie thing happened, it was like, oh, this is new. This is something completely different. And, <laughs> and creatively, just the mindset you have to have to even work on it is completely different. So it was really refreshing, and it completely energized my yeah. entire team. Yeah. You know. Well, and I, you know, as you said, it's it really is one where you can brainstorm, right? And I think, like, you know, when you make a traditional Call of Duty, it's kind of like, all right, here's our period and our setting, and, you know, there's within limits you can sort of do things. Where zombies, I imagine, you sort of have a blank <laughs> <laughs> slate in terms of where you're going to do, what it's going to be every year. And, you know, sometimes I know yeah. it'll tie to the sort of fiction or time period. And that's why it's perfect. It's just, you know, completely well, divorced. Well, when, you know, when it was first created, the, the characters didn't have any voices. Yeah. You right. know, they were, they were um, and so the community kind of took it upon themselves to find the story in it. Even yeah. though there was very kind mm -hmm. of bare bones of what was there, um, they would start writing the story. Yeah. And then it was only a little bit later that, you know, the audio department primarily started writing as well, writing the kind of narrative of what was kind of going on. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> early, early on, we didn't have any characters speaking at all in Nocturne Toten. And then we tried to um, have some first-person voice in Varek where we had a, kind of a bland set of characters. Um, but the problem was is it was hard to tell who was who. And it was because there were very similar actors reading a very similar script. So one of the guys at some point said, hey, if we make characters, um, you know, I'll be able to tell who's who better. And that's, that's where the original <laughs> characters from Tuna Nuba came from. That's uh, perfect. Yeah, because, I mean, the, you said the mode has definitely evolved. I mean, we'll get to Black Ops 4, but it's just sort of like, <laughs> I don't know how you guys come up with this stuff, but you've gotten <laughs> even more sort of, uh, you know, uh, brainstorming in terms of where these things have gone. But tell us about, you know, the evolution, because, you know, still those waves of zombies, that's part of it, but then, you know, the idea of, you said, introducing, you know, characters, you know, time periods. I mean, uh, when you track... Say Easter eggs, damn it. <laughs> just say it. moments for you that feel like there's sort of were, you know, big gates of progress? Absolutely. Um, I mean, you had that, that fundamental core, yeah. which was fantastic, because, um, you know, I came on a little bit later on. I came on DLC 3, which was uh, Darius in, in World at War. Yeah. And um, I think I've said this in the past, which was... You said, the you like, I was crapping myself. You know, it was the <laughs> scariest thing I'd ever, ever had in my professional career, which was to be given something that was so beloved by yep. so many, and then say, okay, now make something new. And there's yeah. always that pressure <laughs> to... Um, be respectful yeah, make of something that new. came before and the success yeah. of it, but then also not to rest on your laurels and to go further. You My know, boy Care, what's up? Zombies very much has uh, a rock and roll, anti-authority streak straight through it. You know, when you hear the kind of origin of this mode, it's been... I can tell, dude. You were gone for like a solid 40 minutes. Yeah. And so that means kind of pushing things, testing things, um, taking that, that idea that comes at the last second and, and running with it. Um, and, I, and I feel very passionate about that's, that's how we keep zombies fresh and how we keep it new. Um, but you can't just kind of do that and just be pulling out of the air every five seconds. So uh, it's that combination of the rebel kind of craziness combined with a structure that you need to make sure that these professionals also can then take that <laughs> and, and build a coherent world, right? So um, that's, that's the thing that we've kept on going as we've kind of gone forward. So it's, yeah. you know, introduce new maps. Introduce they better new fucking ideas, explain this shit in the trailer right here. Take something that everyone would say is sacrosanct. Yep. and say, okay, let's put that on one side for a moment, or yeah. let's take something that you all assume I is absolutely solid that. and change it. No, that was always, you know, when you were do, you know, you do DLC map packs, I was like, that's yeah, cool for new maps, but then when you would always talk about, here's what kind of zombies, it would just be themed in such <laughs> an interesting, different way, you'd just immediately be like, 
feels like a new game, right? And there was that yeah. freshness. Mm -hmm. that I, I think I excite a lot of the fans that you guys were just doing something completely out there. Well, Shit, yeah, you know, that's the whack. Fans, the, the fans, um, you guys it was exactly say, 40 uh, minutes. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> would say, you know, what? this is something which, you know, okay, it needs to go here next. Yeah. And there's that kind of pressure, which is, okay, delivering for the fans to keep them happy, yeah. but also sometimes taking that left turn yeah. is what they need also. So that's that's the delicate balance between, you know, not just trolling, but yeah. also looking to uh, <laughs> <laughs> looking to kind of change it because that's how you yeah. you know reinvent it for a new generation. No, and that's part of the thing I think is the you know continuity because you guys have definitely gone in a bunch of different directions with it, and it's it's fresh, but also as you said, people have favorites. Like, what happened to these characters? Or, yep. You know, yeah. what, go back to the setting. The original um, characters. I love them. From you know your perspective in the animation team, I imagine uh, you know. Whenever these ideas get dreamed up, it allows you guys to sort of oh make yeah. a completely different environments. I mean, is that is that sort of the, the, the zombies what everyone wants to work on because it's so I do. I love it. And <laughs> it, it, what's fun for me is right next door is Craig's office. Yeah. So when Jason and Craig come out of there full of energy, I'm like, all right, what are we doing? Yeah. Let us know. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And then as soon as he tells us, the animation team, we just love to go and just start to create, come up with ideas talk with Jason, try to refine these ideas, and yeah. we're just so full of energy and excitement yeah. because it's so fantastical and full of wonder, and we get to try new techniques and new approaches to storytelling. It's just, yeah, it's a blast. And audio-wise, as, as Jason said, it's very much, you know, kind of rock and roll anti-establishment, so allows you guys to definitely flex with very different yeah, muscles. Too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's just so many varied experiences across all of our maps going back to the beginning, and it's always this new challenge. Like, yeah. how are we going to do the moon? Right? <laughs> <laughs> There's no How sound there. The moon. Um, so it's, it, it, it's creatively really empowering to work on. Yeah. Are are there any ideas that you sort of prototype or concepts that you sort of go down with? How you're like, yeah, this isn't working or too far. I mean, I'm sure you put it back on the shelf. So Amomatic. Sort of the lost zombies. You know, Amomatic. I mean, so zombies, you know. Amomatic. Right? Zombies comes from the spare bits left over. Yeah. Right. And so that's always been in our kind of DNA when we look at zombies. So if we try and do something. And maybe it doesn't work out this project. Uh, it gets put aside and then mm -hmm. comes back. You know, yeah. uh, there was a DLC for 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 World at War that never made it. Well, yeah. you know, you look at the kind of maps in Black Ops One, and that was the leftover bits from yeah. the DLC four that was never made. So sometimes we'll try an idea, sometimes it doesn't come through. Yeah. Um, Kino. More, more the case nowadays is that we'll have more ideas in the time period. So we just yeah. say, okay, let's hold them and then let's come back to them a yeah. little bit later on. A lot of great ideas. Well, yeah, and there have been some insane, uh, you know, uh, maps of the years, the moon, I mean, other crazy things. Do you guys have any favorites out of the, the ten years of... Origins and Mob. Sort of personally, per I'll speak to you personally, if you guys can. Shinonuma for me, just yeah. because it was the Ultimus crew, and we introduced them. He the said the U word. If you look back, I think that map's a little underrated. It actually plays really well, but uh, also a lot of the things in that map grew into what we have today. Yeah. So that is very true. I got excited when we remastered it recently. So I'm like, oh, yeah. I get to yeah. go back to the beginning of the characters here, which is cool. Yeah, I agree. I, the, the audio on that just blew my <laughs> mind. Like, I loved zombies before that, but I remember playing in that hut where you start off and you're looking out the windows and you could just hear the zombies creeping up. It's just, oh, it drew me in, drew me in. I love that map, yeah. I, I, I'm biased, so I'm, I'm going to say Mob of the Dead. Yeah! <laughs> They're into that. Uh, <laughs> They're into that. That's a shameless plug for Blood of the Dead right there. But, uh, shameless plug for I, I, Blood of the know, Dead. For me, it was, and again, one of those Give me a trailer. Where, uh, we get to take a, a left turn and try something different. Yeah. Um, and every time you do that, you, you never know what's going to kind of stick and what's going to work. And um, yeah. I just felt really happy that we, we got the vibe. Yeah. And we, you know, it was one of the first ones where we all went out on location. So we yeah. all went down to San Francisco. Oh, yeah, and yeah and that's, and, that's and, uh, the coolest the fucking thing. And all this kind of fun stuff. So... I felt like all the components were working in kind of tandem and kind of telling that story. Yeah. And that and movie was a lot of fun to make, too. Yeah, the movie as well, yeah. 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 Oh, I mean, black and white. And yeah, a lot of fun. Lot yeah. of fun. So that's why I just think it's, it's such a, a white space that you guys just every year get to kind of come up, or every three years get to come up with something crazy. Oh, I guess with DLCs, you do. Oh, yeah, it's like, so you know, let's, let's do Stalingrad, but let's put yeah. a huge dragon in there while we're at it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> or let's do World War One with all, massive all robots. All bits of the picture. I mean, is there a, I mean, we should talk a bit about the canon of zombies can yeah. you push in oh. so many different directions I mean is Ooh. there the official lore I mean how much can he answer that there, there that? is the official oh, yeah. lore there okay. is the, the official timeline that we released when we did uh, yeah. Chronicles That's so right, we right, put yeah. the huge timeline out 
And, but that uh, doesn't even cover everything. That was that was a trip. So we <laughs> that was a trip. <laughs> we had it all being kind of logged in a kind of roundabout way, you know, a yeah. napkin here or a post-it note there. And uh, I, I popped into the narrative uh, team and said, uh, yeah. hey, guys, just got a little bit of a weekend task for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this all work. Can you just write down the entire storyline in one yeah. coherent way? And yeah. um, I think it was like two and a half months later yeah. <laughs> uh, to actually correlate it all and bring it all together. Um, so yes, oh, have video you video not video seen that works. trailer? I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you that. I'll send that to you. I know exactly what moment you're talking about. In the audio, it's sometimes it's not just the things that you tell, but the things that you don't tell. Right. Um, uh, and that's just as much of a an active choice, you know. So it's sometimes it's the negative space in the picture rather than the detail. You'll go fill in at some point. Um, <laughs> we've also had some really great celeb cameos over the years. It's one of the sort of my favorite moments. Jeff Goldblum. Again, you know, Black Ops has had some great talent in the main game, but yeah. zombies you have as well. Any favorites? Jeff Goldblum. Um, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. Um, hey, bless you. My one, I'm going to go with um, Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. <laughs> yes. yeah. Jeff was a force <laughs> Um, so normally when you do VO recording, someone kind of goes in the booth, you're sitting out there with your audio director, and they'll read the line, and then they'll do it three times, then you say, oh, I'll take the B take, or I'll take the A take. Yeah. Um, Jeff came in, and we just let it run. Because yeah. he was, you know, he just kind of... I'll send you these like, trailers, yeah. and I'll fill you in. Yeah, I'll, so I'll, I'll in make you one of us. do it like a couple of times, right? Get and him. he would just go there, and then he would read the next person's lines as well. Yeah. Well, well, what has my wife done? You know, just started That's going what needs it. to be released. Yeah, and he, it was so good that we just couldn't call takes. Yeah. Um, so he was, he was absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I'm sure from animation cinematics perspective, it's fun, because often you've had you know, the characters look like those actual yeah. talents, right? Yeah. Any fun stories for you, Adam? Well, one of the, the first celebrity ones that we did was with Michael Rooker. Right. Yeah, yeah, call it dead. dead. And that was a lot of fun. The energy he brought there was just infectious. You know, he took it all seriously. He brought his A performance every single time. There were times we had to be like, whoa, 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 they're not real, you know. But he would go in there and have this energy of like, come here, I'm going to get, you know. It's just, it was so much fun to work with that guy. Yeah, that's awesome. Brian? I mean, my favorite's Rooker also. Yeah. He, yeah. he was amazing. Um, but, you know, the celebrity maps just kind of gave us all yet another break on this yeah. narrative thing we were point. on. Yeah. So. Like, I actually love all those maps for completely different reasons. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point, yeah. Now, you know, one thing we haven't talked about, which we absolutely should, is the community that has built absolutely. around zombies. Uh, and, you know, Hi, that's me. I mean, it's just, it's fascinating. I remember years ago on YouTube, I'd be watching, like, Noah J or something. It's like, oh, my God, he name-dropped Noah. Months after the game has come out, as he's searching for something. And it really, I mean, it's it's been so much fun. Tell us a bit about the, the zombies community, many of which are probably here today at E3. Um, they are so passionate about this mode, and t tell me sort of about the evolution of that, and I think the the fun sort of relationship that Treyarch has with the community of trolling yeah, us repeatedly, yet yeah, we still passion. come back for more. It inspires us to do the best work of our career. Yeah. It's, it's the fact Absolutely. that they're Absolutely. so into it that that, yeah. that drives us. Uh, yeah, yeah. It sounds cliche, but it truly is because yeah. we feel this expectation when we see that kind of passion, we see that level of engagement. It's like, okay, how do we go further? Shout how out of a century, dude. Make them something they're not expecting. And, you know, those early days, a lot of those fan theories and a lot of that uh, conversation is what got folded straight back into the storyline. Right? No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, fir the very first Easter egg was, uh, was a hidden song uh, written by Kevin Sherwood, who works for Treyarch. Um, yeah. And uh, we, we, we hit it in Baruch because uh, we made it, and it was like, oh, this is actually a pretty cool song. What can we use it for? Like, well, let's just put it as an Easter egg in, in Baruch and see how long it takes people to find it. And it was like an hour. <laughs> 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 um, but that was really inspiring. It's like, oh, people people are into that. We should hide more stuff. And so it's kind of how – that's And little did we know, there's line. still stuff we Easter haven't eggs, found. Even though it's no longer really an Easter egg. Yeah. But, yeah, it was really cool watching the community um, discuss all these things mm -hmm. and – Early on, websites are springing up, and now there's YouTubers everywhere. It's just amazing to be a part of. Hi. Yeah. We've we've learned not to say this one will take ages, because <laughs> every yeah. time we say yeah. anything, like uh, revelations. Really takes, uh, <coughs> this is a big one. Yeah. They've got it in twenty four hours. But I mean, tell me about revelations. That. You know, the, the this the man, this you map know, will last you eight months. And, and, you know, there's definitely I think uh, people got tired of it in a month. That community of sort of like, I mean, how does that work? Brainstorming, like especially Easter eggs. I mean, it's stuff that you know, I get yeah. the hunt is part of the fun. Oh, well, I try, uh, you know, um, I'll think about it in, in different levels or different strata to yeah. think about. Here's the easy ones that you can kind of just easily get. Then here's, uh, here's ones that, you know, they're probably going to have to work in a team to gonna get. And then yeah. here's ones that are nigh on impossible. You know, they're not going to get these. 
uh, which they then do. Yeah. Um, but um, <laughs> by thinking about it in kind of different ways means that different levels of people, you know, their engagement, there's always something else, there's always right. another depth for them to kind of discover. But um, over the years, it's got more and more complicated. I, I started off with a computer science background and, and programming, so I was like, oh, I'll do the ciphers, I'll do, <laughs> I'll do this, you know. Um, they've they've already exhausted me now. I've got I've got nothing yeah. left now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all the trickiness over. No ciphers, bo four confirmed. You know, press X to. On, you well, know. That's, again, like that's why you know some people will play to find those. Other people will watch someone else mm -hmm. play yeah. to find them, and it's uh, you know that's what's fun. Are there any Easter eggs that have not? Been yes, found? there are. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, <laughs> your task <laughs> is at hand. Yeah. Any, can you tell us which game? Um, World of War. No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, here's the thing. So there's, there's a whole bunch that haven't been found, and there's yeah. a bunch that they haven't got through it yet. But, okay. uh, but when we get into the end, um, so I, I, try and have a, I try to have a careful relationship with the, with the, with the community, which is right. close enough but not too close. Okay. Uh, because if you get too close, then you're just following what they're asking for. Yeah. But you want to be aware. You don't want to be deaf to it. Um, so trying to be... Uh, you know, questions that get asked and say, okay, which one, wh you know, where's the, where's the Easter eggs you haven't found? I like to be a little bit more separated, yeah. and then I'll have people on the team tell me, like, oh, they haven't found that one yet. I'm like, okay, excellent, okay. But are, I mean, I'm just curious, <laughs> like, are there dozens of things out there still, or I mean, what's... On the different ones, there's, you know, as, as little as kind of like a handful up to right. a couple of handfuls. A couple of handfuls? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do it's you handful, mean? So. Yeah. Five, at well, least I five. Did, I didn't so did you say five? Master? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is that what they're gonna talk about? But the video I, that I made. Stick now is oh. give, give nondescript answers to, to, to questions. No, look, but that's part of the fun, I guess. Yeah. And, and now, you know, when you go into something like Black Ops Four, how you know the Easter eggs? How big of a conversation is it about? You know, it's I said how convoluted, yeah. ARG-like <laughs> these things are gonna be. It's it's um it's a combination, right? So we'll you know. We'll engage with different departments, different groups, and talk about yeah. where we're where we're hiding things. You know, um, especially now that we're telling a new story, we've got a brand new story now in, in Black Ops yeah. Four. When we get into the end of, of the the previous story, we were putting more things in ciphers, making it a lot yeah. harder because each one was could give so much gold, even a small amount. Yeah. But when you go to a new story, then it's almost like a rewinding the mentality back to the beginning, mm -hmm. where it's a bit more overt about the story because you want to get people yeah. vested and into what's going on, all this kind of stuff. Um, so, the mentality has changed as well. Yeah. Uh, While well, something like um, you know a blood of dead, so forth, you know you can go a little bit more hardcore because you know there's fans who will be really wanting to know the smallest little bit. So, yeah. so Hi, kind of me. combining it and talking about different techniques, whether it be in an animation or be, be a sound <coughs> strike. And sound, uh, you know, being there from the very beginning. Uh, it has a very special place in my heart, the kind of sound <laughs> Easter eggs or the, yeah. or the audio ones, because that's where they first came from. Those ideas, those recordings, you know, hidden, that you press X on something that we wouldn't tell you, and then some audio log would play. Um, going into the new story, uh, I like the idea that we kind of roll back to that mentality again. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah, no, it's uh, amazing what uh, you guys have built over the years. Uh, Black Ops 4, let's talk a bit about that. Um, yeah. The big reveal on uh, <laughs> May 17th, you definitely... Uh, they fucking, they shook the whole world. Yes. Uh, earlier than I think you ever have, yes. right? Yes, yes. On zombies. Uh, it was a massive reveal of, of all the modes of uh, Black Ops 4. But tell me, you know, the team approaching this, uh, you know, three-year dev cycle. Uh, when you when you start out, you know, on this new cycle, a couple years ago on Black Ops 4 Zombies, what was the original vision? What did you guys want to accomplish with this game? Well, I, I think the, the big thing that we were going after was starting a new story. Yeah. Uh, we've been telling the previous story for 10 years, um, and there was so much creativity in the team. Um, and we've been blessed with the large majority of the team who are here today were there 10 years ago. Yeah. You know, when we did Chronicles, for example, most of the people who made those maps were making them again for the remaster. And that's why, you know, when Brian's talking about, you know, the, the joy of going back for the sound, yeah. the designers were doing that as well, kind of going back and scripting stuff as well. So, um, the idea is building up, and you're like, okay, could we jam this into the other storyline? Sure, we could. Yeah. But um, we kind of know where we want to go with that. And so very early on, it was like, let's not keep jamming stuff into a storyline where we know how we want to finish it and where we want to bring it to. Yeah. Let's start Ooh. this new story. But then that's all Finishing it. Because now you're starting something that the audience doesn't know. You're going to reveal for the first time. 
But that fear and that excitement is what the drives the team. That's that's what made zombies in the first place so exciting. It was this feeling of who knows, you know. Mm -hmm. So taking all the things that the community had taught us yeah. and being able to start a new story with new mechanics and new ideas, um, that's what's driving us. That's what's keeping it exciting. That's what's keeping it fresh. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what's kind of keeping the team alive and excited. So on like a, a three-year dev cycle like this, you know, the zombies always sort of have the, the similar cadence in terms of when you come up with the idea and execute it. I mean, you're obviously you know, doing a lot here. So you know, that is... I guess I'm, I'm wondering about the evolution of the zombies mode within sort of a three-year cycle of yeah. prototyping it. Because obviously some of it, you know, is building off of what the team is doing on the main game, too, in terms of systems and technology and everything. So you sort of have to ramp up with the main game in some ways, right? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely like an asset sharing. So, for instance, yeah. like the, the weapons. The, yeah. the multiplayer pretty much dictates the, the weapon selection we're going to have yeah. for the map. And then we'll highlight a handful of them and say these are the special weapons or these are the wonder weapons or whatever yeah. that's going to be. Um, but then, because the zombies uh, mode has grown so much, it's turned to a point now where it has its own kind of feature list, where we're talking about its, its own, own game. Yeah, so yeah. It's before it was just like, hey, wh what bits do you have left over? Can we borrow some? <laughs> <laughs> and now it's, now it's kind of like, we want this. You know? <laughs> there you go. A so and I think even probably, you know, animation-wise, I mean, you get, you know, we saw from the reveal, I mean, massive cutscenes, yeah. new content, yeah. and I mean, this is new team, I'm sure, is a huge part of what you guys do every year now. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we were reviewing something before we came over here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, Tell us more. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Cut his mic. You but no, but fucking like these, these stop it. Four are, are very interesting characters, and we're very yeah. excited to explore them and grow them and, and help them come to life and, and reveal more about them over time. But yeah. uh, to me, that's very exciting you know, because we want to explore new stories. I don't know, Lonesome. Maybe. And, uh, Why'd you point at me when you said that? Well, I, uh, yeah. Ouch. Because well, we like to go, in the animation department, we like to go crazy. And Jason yeah. has to come in and tell us, whoa, 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 hold on. I killed so, the fun. That's what he said. No, no, not at all. No, no, no. <laughs> the collaboration is great. but you know, man realizes well, Jason is his boss. See how far we can take that. And then working with Jason and other departments, we start to wrangle that in. Even complementing it with the music, you know, we, we, we partner up very early on. And how do these scenes and the audio work together? I mean, it's yeah. it's a real collaborative effort, and and through that, it makes it a lot of fun. And we're all working together and, and, and getting the different departments and disciplines talking about things. Like, there's things that the audio guys have brought up that I, I thought, wow, that's a really great idea, and we would incorporate it into our scenes and just keep growing the ideas together. It's really a lot of fun. Yeah. Wow. Like the, like the the music videos, right? We mm. that was something you know the, the hidden track in the in the, in the beginning. When we got a little bit later on, we we're like, okay. What can we do with this? Let's, let's do music videos now. Let's like yeah. tell stories now exactly right. with the, the music. The one, right. the one was the first uh, music video too. It was based on that, right? Right. So that, that cool. idea of like, okay, let's take the lyrics and then the imagery, the imagery that we marry with it, can then tell Different, the community yeah. new things, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. All the way to the point where you get to, uh, you know, uh, where are we going, right? Um, where we were like selling this kind of creepy vibe and a, and a very different song, very different kind yeah. of performance. So. Um, Again, using the kind of different different disciplines, different groups to tell stories, and that's that's really the, the kind of key to it. And like I was saying earlier, what I like about it too is that <laughs> stories aren't just you probably like will miss it. About how much you want to engage with the story, the more you interact with it, and hearing the characters talking to each other, like what they just say, and depending on what your combo is, you get more information. And I, I really love help yeah. developing <laughs> that and working that story out. I think what's cool about it is if you want the story, wait. you have to go find it. Oh wait, and yeah. if you just want to yeah, yeah. slave, there you it, go. It's yep. all there for you. Oh, didn't get and to show now, you what, though. Um, you know, so much oh, now it turns into that, yeah. Three adventures on launch day. Yep. Um, you know, yeah. crazy things there like you go. Voyage of Despair. I mean, it's like, <laughs> I'm sure, as you said, there's stuff on, not on the cutting room floor, it just gets pushed off to, you know, the DLCs or things mm -hmm. like that. Um, how did those, the campaigns that you are shipping with, tell us a bit about why you decided to push forward with those for, for launch? I can't, really. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Ouch. So when you're starting a new story off, yeah. um, and this kind of goes to the question that I might not have fully answered before from you, which is, yeah. you know, in the, in the early days it was, okay, here's an idea, and then, okay, we've got this level, yeah. let's, put, let's put another idea here. And as we got further and further along, we had to plan a little bit further out, a little bit more yeah. you know, further out. And you get to this situation now where when you're starting a new crew yeah. for its success, you need to really kind of think it all the way down the line. Mm. Um, but then also, for people who are driven by narrative and our kind of storytelling, 
it's also important not to tell it in order, mm -hmm. but for it not to be timey wimey for the sake of it, if you will. Yeah. So, timey uh, wimey. Voyage and Nine um, are two key points in the storyline that we yeah. told. Okay. But I'm not saying necessarily where they are in that storyline. So oh, God is, damn it, so Jason. So there is interconnectedness. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. But th that's the, you know, that's the part that we also want the fans to kind of investigate. Mm -hmm. So as they're playing, you know, when saying about you know, happening the at the same, same time, every single time yeah, whoever's right. next to each other, that's going to allow them to start kind of connecting those threads. You know, um, the, you know, the timeline coming out uh, in Chronicles was appropriate because everyone had been through that stuff. Yeah. This one, I would put the challenge out to the community to start making the timeline before I have to. <laughs> Got to uh, get more of them. Okay, deal. <laughs> uh, you also announced you're doing a, a fourth um, map, classified, yes. right? Oh. Uh. Yeah. All right. Getting to the questions you guys want to hear. <laughs> um, so, break it down. What can you tell us? What can I tell you? Um, <laughs> unclassified. Yeah, the, the, the clues in the film. The clues in the title. Um, Snow. Well, it's. Um, it's going to be based on the Pentagon. Yeah, okay. boy. It's fine. And it's this guy just gave him a shake. Was that your guess? <laughs> okay, there's a bat. What was the bat? Okay. Which, uh, which crew, then? <laughs> which one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, let me tell you this way. Yeah. So it's the, it's the original crew. Wow. So it's the, um, it's the Ultimus gang. So, so, so Black Ops 4 is going to have our Primus crew in there, yeah. and also our Ultimus crew and our new gang as well. No fucking uh, way! Oh, uh, no all right, fucking dude. way! And that's um, that's going to that's going to no. set up um, some of the craziness that we saw in Five. <laughs> you know, why did that happen? How did it get there? All that kind of good stuff, and um, it's a uh, it's a wonderful style. We're kind of approaching it in a very uh, unique way artistically. Oh wow! Um, okay. But it also kind of folds into all those kind of mechanisms that we talked about on the reveal, so the yeah. kind of custom mutations and so forth, all that stuff then works as well. So every map that we're doing all works with the challenger system and, and so forth. Um, so not only is it a, a kind of brand new take you on right, the storyline, yeah. obviously a, a joy to go back and, and update it and modernize it, yeah. but it's a, it's a new part in the story also. I mean, it's just a, it, it, it's insane how much stuff what has to fuck? interconnect and all be sort of uh, planned together. I mean, yeah. when you and this is being developed alongside the three that'll come out. Of yeah, March. Mm -hmm. yeah. The, the whole team is busying away right now. Um, straight after this, I've got to take these guys home because they've got yeah. to go back to work. Yeah, away. exactly. I mean, <laughs> no, and I mean, even for for you guys, you know, you've got, you know, the entire game to sort of think about. And I mean, you stay focused primarily, I guess, on zombie Absolutely. stuff. But for you guys, I mean, now, I mean, it feels like zombies is a big part of what the audio and art teams are working Absolutely. on every year, right? I mean, how do you how do you feel? You know, at least. Now MP obviously is big, and then you know blackout and everything. But it, you know, zombies is so different. Does it take sort of a disproportionate amount of resources because it's so new? That's a good question. Uh, I I don't think so. The way we have our like in the animation side, we have our teams broken up in the different subgroups. We have cinematics, yeah. AI, and player animations. So as we start to develop and, and design these games, we start putting the resources and yeah. the energy in the right places. So. It never really feels disproportionate at all. It's uh, it's just you know part of the game development cycle. <laughs> I've, I've got to call out for our amazing production department that yeah, makes yeah. all this stuff work. They're the kind of unsung yeah, heroes. Another shout out. You know we have obviously our, our talent and our kind of energy that we're kind of going into different disciplines, but they're sitting in the background making sure all these That's pieces true. fit yeah. together. So. Yeah, let me right. text on that question. Yeah, what do exactly. you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> and audio, I mean, you're doing different sort of soundscapes. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got to keep right? people from begging me to work on zombies. That's the easy really? one. All right. Yeah, yeah, everybody loves working on it. It's just yeah. it's so much fun and it's so different. You know, if you need to shift gears or you're not feeling creatively inspired on some other part of the game, hey, yeah. there's a zombies task for you right here. Well, that's a good point because I imagine even for the team, you know, working on the same style of game for so many years, it's yeah. like, you know, to have this fresh creative palette with zombies every year. I think it feels like a new game. I mean, when you see those trailers for what you guys are doing this year for the three campaigns, it's kind of like... It's fresh every well, map. Exactly. It's every map. Every new yeah. map that comes out. We're <laughs> yeah. like, what are we doing now? All right. What's yeah. it going to be? And <laughs> in many ways, you can do whatever you want because I feel like now, time period setting, it's like there is... Is there anything that you guys have proposed that you're like, no, this is too crazy? Like London. It just doesn't work? Nope. <laughs> 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 it's... Uh, I mean, that's what, that's what makes it fun, right? You know, mm -hmm. um, and there's there's very few times in a person's career where you have that opportunity. 
yeah. you know, um, as, as games professionals, our job is to, to make the project work and, yeah. and, and make it to the best of our ability. When you have a project that's so open-ended and supported by the fans yeah. so lovingly, it, it gives us the freedom to be able to try new things, go to Absolutely. new places, and that keeps yeah. us alive and fresh with the, with the kind of creativity, and hopefully, you know, they feel that, you know, the community yeah. feels it. Um, you know, I've said before, which is, hopefully when you're playing zombies, you can feel every discipline's love for the mode itself yeah. Yeah. Uh, coming through. I'm and a bit passion, hippie. I'm yeah. a bit hippie in that way. I feel like if people are loving what they're doing, then you feel it on the on the receiving end. So yeah, uh, absolutely. That's what we uh, that's what we endeavor to do at, uh, on zombies all the time. Well, speaking of the community, I know we've got some. Uh, I think we've got a video question from a Facebook fan um, over at the E3 Hall that wanted to ask you something about oh, wow. um, that. So we want to take a look now at the uh, video question from fan on Facebook. Uh, so my question is basically, will any of the previous zombies lore tie in to the new game? Uh, any of the story Good continuation or even existing lore since it was such a great story? A wonderful question. Um, yes, that'll be tied into, into Blood of the Dead. That's so right, Blood yeah. of the Dead can't carries on that story. That yeah. was easy. I got away okay. with that one. <laughs> that's not <laughs> exactly. I thought that was going to be a hard one. The whole map of theories, <laughs> like asking you to confirm X, Y, and Z on the yeah. timeline. Yeah. Yeah. Blood. Um, blood is. Uh, I, won't, I won't say anything more on where that fits in, but yeah. it's. Um, yes, it is, it is carrying on that story. Yeah. Awesome. All right. I think we have another one. Second question. Mm. From the fan over at the website. Hi. I was wondering if you ever see yourself introducing zombies into the battle royale mode as something that might distinguish you from other games that are coming out with Battle Royale. I thought mode. they said they were going to do that. All right, get wow. some blackout scoop. Here we go. Don't tell Vaughn. Oof. Don't um, tell Vaughn. I would, um, I'm going to use my catch-all answer, which is never say never. Yes. Ah, yeah. God damn Vaughn, when they revealed, by, I mean, he was sort of saying pretty much everything in the world of Black Ops somehow will factor in. Well, yeah, I mean, the kind of, you know, obviously yeah. our characters, and we showed that on our reveal. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, locations may uh, may also make an appearance there. So zombie uh, maps and blackout kind of confirmed. Bit, but um, yeah. you know, who knows how that goes? Are you? I mean, how involved are you in sort of? I mean, blackout. Like, obviously, you've got a lot to do, but that's something that we're actually staying blackout. focused all on our on our okay. dedicated zombie yeah, side. Right. We have a dedicated teams for each one of these things. Yeah. So um, the the maps we're doing for launch, which obviously there's four maps there, yeah. uh, you know, plus a plus a DLC season coming down the road. We we got more than enough to focus on. That. Yeah. Say, there's yeah, a lot there. Yeah. Um, right. Now I'm sure you know. Everyone's wondering when we're going to get more on this. Uh, mm, come on. May to get details on these campaigns. Yeah. Uh, come on, come on. Or traditionally, I think you guys have held for kind of. Right on, now, on with the, the new Blood of the Dead trailer. Later. Yeah, forget what um, you know. <laughs> forget <laughs> what, what you uh, know. Is my boxing line? <laughs> <laughs> Any teases you can sort of tell us about? You know, when we'll hear more or. or the yeah, next here's a trailer. Information on, on zombies. Um. So the next time we're talking will be at uh, Comic Con. Okay. So we're gonna go to Comic Con. Yeah. We'll be chatting there. Yeah. Um, but because we because we knew we were gonna come along today and have the chat with you. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple extra little things that I thought I'd talk about. You guys into that? What? 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 Hey! 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 So stick around until the end of the panel. <laughs> so so we talked about maps and we you know yeah. we mentioned that and uh, obviously introduced the new uh, storyline. And we talked about I think custom mutations. We talked about that. Modes. Um, I thought I'd mention a couple of new mechanics or twists on mechanics. That Tell the audience more. Might, might find interesting. Excuse me. So, um, for the first time, we're going to give uh, a choice for your starting weapon. So you get Ooh. to select your starting weapon before you start the map. Okay. You'll also be able to select your own special equipment as well to kind of go into the map. What? Before you start. For and everything. Yeah. For everything. Yeah. And then you'll also be able to select your special weapon, which you'll be able to upgrade and move through as you're kind of playing the game. Wait, hold on. And what? As a final point. Yes. Um, you'll also be able to choose your what we're calling perk vapors, of which there will be over ten different kind of perk vapors, and you'll be able to assign them into the world. So rather than having your perk, perk machines just kind of static and staying there, now players will be able to kind of choose what combination of things. What the to fuck, to dude? Change the way the map is played, and what abilities and skills they can then have. Wow. So there's a couple of mechanics there. I was going to say, so this is definitely... That's an exclusive for you, then. Thank you, there. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. What like the uh, fuck does that That's amazing. Mean? I mean, it feels like that's going to obviously, you know, allow so much more customization. I mean, yes. you load out effectively when you're kind of... And that's that's yeah. the kind of thing, which is when we're talking about, you know... Every perk is mule kick. ...customizable game we've created. Yeah. Um, 
that's part of it, right? Taking all the things which are kind of static or predictable and then giving the players the choice. So not only the choice for me as an individual, but if we're playing together, what's the combination of things that we're taking? And that's part of the strategy you're taking to defeat a map or get an advantage on a map as well. Wow. All right, you guys into that? I am down with All that. Right, well, we will see more, it sounds like, at Comic-Con about true. that. And uh, got to say, uh, you know, an incredible reveal for Black Ops 4. I know how hard everyone at Treyarch worked to, you know, put all that content together, an hour of stuff. And, you know, we don't even know that much about Blackout yet. Uh, yeah. but I saw Vaughn and Bunting the other day on the YouTube show, and they're like, no more <laughs> hints. But uh, I think no they, they, they talked hints. about ballistics of weapons and how, yeah. you know, but that was about all we got. Um, so it's amazing to see what you guys are putting together, and we can't wait to, uh, to see more and uh, play it uh, this October. Give it up to the guys from Treyarch. Thank you. Black Ops 4. Awesome. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back. Check. Is that it? I think that's it. And. Alright. Told you, Neutral. Yeah, you were right. I never doubted you, my friend. Gameplay where people are might get a trailer after the interview. I actually fucking doubt it, but no trailer. Yeah, I didn't think that there really would be. Yep. Nope, that's it. This stream, that stream is over. So we must change the channel. This one. Discussing the trailer zombie, yeah. So okay. What you guys thought? I thought that was really good. I like that. They definitely that exclusive and shit is wow. Oh, I just got fucking ear raped. So, I, I'm just... Disappointment? I'm not disappointed. I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. I didn't... I, I wanted gameplay, but I feel like maybe they'll release more stuff at Comic-Con. Like, gameplay trailers for every map. Including Classified. Gotta reply to some texts. Alright. Dope. Locked and ready okay. I need to oh, I need to fix my audio. Um Oh no, my battery's low. Let me go fix that really quickly. Okay, I have to go plug in one of my other batteries because I have a bunch of them. Pretty hard. But yeah, I don't know. I think that reveal was pretty, or that uh, conference was pretty good. I think that that was. I, I, I'm not disappointed that there was no no gameplay. I mean, it would have been cool, but I mean, he gave us like those whack-ass exclusives, so now we have like that. I, I wanted some, at least a new information because if we were just going to sit on what we had before, then that'd be pretty fucking boring. I forget where the fuck we were. Oh. So yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty content. I'm pretty satisfied. Perk vapors though. Tell me a boy can use PhD flopper at his request. And that I don't have to pay anything to use it. Cause that would be whack as shit.
I could use a max. Awesome. But yeah, I don't know. That, like, I wasn't expecting that he'd tell us about that. I mean, I, he starts talking about classified. The fact that we're playing as the 1.0s. Like what? That's you're you're spoiling me because the 1.0 crew is like my, pretty much my favorite, I'd say. I'm gonna teach I, they're just spoiling me with having us arrested. have them in Chronicles and then like an SMG. and then more. Oh my guys, give me the M fucking 14, please. Oh, you stupid ass hole. You stupid ass hoe. Man, why does it always do that to me? And the one point. Yeah, I, as soon as he said, it was like, yeah, I want to play. He's like, all right, which crew? I'm like, excuse me, Jason. My guy, hold the fuck on. You need to, you need to chill out for just a hot fucking second, my guy. Just a second. Where is that? Oh, oh, jeez, no. I hate going this way. But we're going to be camping in the alleyway eventually anyway, so we can open this way. Or it's not even over here, so I didn't have to open this. I'm going to go get some, play some ESO. ESO. I don't know what that is. But if you're down for Fortnite later, that, that's, that's dope, because uh, Gavin, Jack, and I are going to be playing. The same what you want, the same what you want, the same what you want, the same what you want. Hey, yo, it's Childish Gambino, and I'm eating Oreos in my parked car. I'm going to crack them up. Mm. These Oreos are delicious. Fucking 1.0s and 5 remastered. Yo, zombie. Official 5 remastered. I heard the knocking. Oh shit, I'm dead. Ouch. I totally fucked myself by walking into a corner. Big oofy. Ouch. Wait, okay, I got rid of my mark too, that's cool. That's what I say, get rid of my thunder gun. Don't you fucking dare. I'm just only gonna play COD Ghosts. Dude, I haven't fucking touched COD Ghosts in a kajillion or plus years. Let me know how that goes, man. Definitely got a lot of interesting info. Lots of the whack shit. Actually, I think I'm gonna end the stream. Make a video about this and then uh, do some other shit, work on some other projects. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, probably start on, should start on the price B. Yeah, you, you right, you right. Normally, but we're, we're gonna end the stream, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna do some other shit. I'm gonna work on some projects. So I have a few ideas that just came to me, and I wanna act on them now. If you guys did enjoy the stream, make sure to like, and I'll be seeing you guys later. This is at the moment, Tony. Signing out.